Um, I, I fucked up, guys. I won't be honest with you. I fucked up. It's 2 a.m. I look like shit and puffy. At a huge meal. Okay, that's better. The audio should be better. Uh, I had a huge meal. I finished the gym and everything, and I have a lot of going, a lot of going for me. I admit the truth. I'm sorry for being gone. I just I was busy as fuck, working, working, working non-stop. I have a lot going for me. But it doesn't feel like it's enough. You know, I read something from Mr. Top G himself saying, you know, truly busy people that get shit done, they question if they get any work done at all, and lazy people think they're doing everything. And I think, from the bottom of my heart, maybe I'm being lazy. Maybe I'm not getting enough done. Even even with that knowledge, like, not to, like, inst hurt my ego or anything like that, it's just... Like, that's just that's how I think. I finished all this juice. It's like right here, dude. That was fucking me ass juice. <laughs> and I'm just sat here at 2 a.m. listening to Genshin Impact music. My mom just fucking woke up. And she's, she's not even here. She's in fucking Vietnam, bro. I'm looking smaller. I'm, look, I'm looking smaller. That's because, like, I just finished the bicep. I'm gonna be so sore in the morning. It's gonna be fucking annoying. I think I'll get abs, some circuits and burpees for the morning workout, and maybe go on a jog. I hate fucking run I fucking hate running, but I have to do it with cardio. You know, Genshin Impact's a sick game. I sick as in, I mean, mentally sick. It's fucking uh, honestly, Genshin Impact is like the worst game I've ever played in a while. Like the thought of playing it triumphs playing it. Like actually, it was it was such a shit, underwhelming game. I thought how I, I forgot how lonely and like geeky and weeby and fucking gambly the game was. I can play it now. I have full access to play every single game I've ever wanted. I have all the money in the world. I have more money than I ever could possibly ask for at my age. I'm not broke anymore, really. I'm so broke. Like, not millionaire status, I'm still broke in there, I'm not like, just trying to war, I'm not just speeding around in private jet, nothing like that. So, in in essence, I'm a broke But for money-wise, I'm pretty, I'm pretty chill. Ah, uh, for my age. What was I on? Genshin Impact. What a fucking shit game, man. You know, I remember the friend I used to play with. I used to play for Genshin. I'm pretty sure I've told his story already, but you know, you guys don't know his name. I might, I might bay out his name, but nah, what's the point? It really doesn't matter. Genshin Impact. The biggest problem with the, was the game. With the game was that I was extremely lonely. So was Warframe. So was Apex Legends. So was Overwatch 2. So was Rainbow Six Siege. So was every other game I played. I was always alone. I would get invested into the game. I would get, you know, <laughs> invested into the grind, and I I would desperately seek to become better, to become great. I will write. I will write shit down like what I need to improve. My movement needs to improve. My aim needs to improve. My game sense needs to improve. What do you mean my game sense needs to improve? And I, I, I would genuinely study in order to get better. <laughs> and for Warframe, I would write down goals of things I wanted. 
for Apex, it would be get Masters, get Apex Predator, get this. 20 mom, 4K. It was on my mind forever. How do I even play? It was all pointless. What irony. What's the point? What's the, so many guys regress to on Fruman. What's the point, bro? I, I don't understand anyone who plays games. I really don't. What a fucking... What a, what a perfect music show. What's the point of wasting your time on this bullshit? It's not real. When everything is all said and done, you come back to reality, you're still musty, you're still ugly, you're still fat, you're still unaccomplished, you're still a piece of shit. What's the point? Even with the self-improvement stuff, materialis materialism and everything, what's the point? After you reach a certain threshold, you're a multi-millionaire now, you're in perfect shape now, you get all the girls you want now. Everything you ever wanted, accomplished. What's the point? What's the next move? This music is really fucking annoying. Oh my god, it's getting it's getting my my nerves. I'll come back to this video. I wanted to continue on the um, argument why I think Genshin is bullshit. And it is a good game. There is no doubt. The reality is it's extremely lonely. And within all the beautiful details, it's all... <laughs> it's all a lie. I would often spend hours grinding primo gems. I would often spend hours exploring the map. And I felt as if I was really getting nowhere. What the hell? This music's man fucking me. And to be honest, I really wish I spent the, the time grinding Genshin Impact. It's probably been 100, 200 hours on it. Nothing too big. And. I really wish I spent that time doing something else. I really wish I did. So, same with Apex, same with Warframe, same with everything else, uh, every game I've done, pursued, whatever it is, that bullshit. I wish I could really spend it doing, playing a fucking instrument or something. Playing an instrument, working, getting shit done, being in the gym, working out, you know. I, I often think about often, 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 in self improvement, when you celebrate a milestone for something, like maybe you've reached a certain goal in your physique, or you, know, you got a six pack now, or you got an eight pack now, or maybe you could do 15 pull ups, like Austin Durham says, or maybe it's like in boxing, you, know, you never you don't get nervous during sparring anymore, and then you're preparing for your first fight, you know. Maybe it's something like this, it isn't something you know 100%, like holy shit.
the intense amount of gratitude you feel, not for yourself currently or your accomplishments, but more so your past self. You're you're a real fucking. If you know what this means, is you're you're a real G, bro. Because like you know what it means. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm speaking. Fuck, I'm, I'm English slurring. I'm tired, man. You know that what I say is truth. You know what that what. Hell no, man. Two AM speech, bro. Hell, no. embarrassing. I'm putting. This, I'm gonna put this on the internet, bro. Really, I really, I wanna put this on the internet. Oh my god, I don't, I don't, I don't wanna show you guys my face. I'm gonna cover my face. I don't wanna show you my fucking busted ass fucking hair either. No, nope, no. Nope. I need to wash my face because I think I'm still gonna take that shower though. Can't lie, because it's a whole fucking day off the gym, man. <sighs> The gratitude you feel, if you're an ambitious individual, especially, if you don't give a fuck, then, like, why are you watching this video? Like, it, it really does not apply to you. And you watch this video to put a hate comment under it. Oh, but Jimmy, you're wrong, and, you know, you're, you're Chinese. I'm not Chinese. You're Chinese, and you're fucking, you're, you're short, bro, and you got a small BB. Like, you know, it's a motherfucking, motherfucking, motherfucking hate comment, hate watchers. I don't understand that, but. If you do understand what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, if you had something that's productive and you work really hard for it, hard at it for a long time, the amount of gratitude yours you would feel in the future for your past self would be insurmountable, and it would be a consistent source of gratitude in which you could constantly look back on and be happy about. For the most part, you can't really say the same if you're playing a video game. Because video games inherently aren't real. They are not real. And like this some, some boomer shit, right? You shouldn't stop should playing those video games. Boomers they 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 failed to make a compelling argument. I think that's the biggest the biggest like the biggest reason why the boomer thing failed. The boomer advice was right, like don't go on your phone too much, go outside more, exercise, da 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 da. The boomer advice was good. But the problem was the boomers had Failed in the execution of their advice. So therefore, us kids thinking we're smart asses, thinking we know everything, did what we thought was right at the time, which was play video games. And I just something wrong with my teeth. I feel like my teeth just fucking protrude outward. No, no, I'm tripping. Anyway, us kids, we did, we did, we did what we thought was right. I don't know, I keep paying attention to it now, it's fucking annoying. We did what we thought was right, and at the time, playing video games and doing instant gratification to general activities, fucking playing Fruit Ninja on our phone, seemed like the good idea. As we grow up, we kind of realize it really wasn't. We kind of fucked ourselves here. This isn't good. What are we doing? And, um... I remember, seeing, I remember seeing this meme, it's like, no lie, but having un, uncontrolled access to the internet at 11 years old really fucked my brain. Well, it's the age of the internet, it's the age of information. Your brain was going to be fucked anyway. You probably fucking saw gore videos and horrible shit growing up, which is, um, you know, unfortunate. I did as well. I mean, everyone's seen the videos, two girls, one. Pause. Uh, yeah, it. The boomers were right. The boomers were right, most definitely. And that's pretty much the whole self-improvement space in general, if, if I'm really honest with you. You're kind of following advice of 30-year-old, 40-year-old, 50-year-old grown men like Jordan Peterson and you know, MJ DeMarco, I'm pretty sure he's 50 now, multi-millionaire, retired, semi-retired, according to him. But he, he's pretty retired, like, he's not doing anything anymore. Um, he should, I don't know, I really wish, I really wish he would make more videos, that'd be really good. Kind of sad that he isn't. Oh. Wait, I'm really sad you didn't give that internet YouTube thing a bigger, bigger shot. Um, that's um, I feel like it would have been a big star. Something that you know, a, lot, a lot of people miss. Uh, you know, Hamza, Hamza, he's taking advice from people that write books, and you know, Deep Work, Cal Newport, or Expert Secrets, Dot Com Secrets, whatever. You know, you know what I'm saying. Robert Kiyosaki. Individuals that are a bit older, a bit more experienced in life, kind of taking 
that thing something from them and bring it to us you get me you get me because like it is extremely unrealistic to think like, it's more realistic you become a billionaire no yeah you be a tech billionaire after working in the industry for like 20 years than becoming like an ultra famous twitch streamer for playing games something like jinxy like that i mean it's more probable i believe and some might call me stupid, but in the tech industry, I'm pretty sure it's pretty fair. You have a good product, you work on your product, you work to sell your product, you work to build your company, you work to build the sales and marketing of the product, and then you really, you really resonate with the people, and the product really helps people, and it really solves a good need in the market. Okay, you make a lot of money, you could become a tech billionaire. It's, it's straightforward. It certainly isn't easy, but it certainly is more probable than fucking becoming a... Guys, push me in, guys, push me in, and becoming a fucking famous Twitch streamer. That, I feel like there's so much less, like, probable, honestly. And you might call me stupid in that, but, like, that's, that, it, just, it just seems like that, that, like, you think you're gonna, you think you're gonna be, like, a millionaire doing what everyone wants to do. Play Rainbow Six Siege, play Fortnite. Mm, could be. So is it probable? No. But do you think you're gonna be a millionaire, billionaire? If you solve an important need in the market, you learn about tech, something that most people are incredibly, incredibly untech savvy about. And most people are very, very stupid when it comes to tech. You learn how to identify market needs. You learn how to, how do I say this word? I don't know what it is, like apply, solve. You learn to solve market needs. You learn to develop a company. You learn to, like, what the fuck? Of course, like, of course you're going to be a millionaire. Of course you're going to be a billionaire. It makes sense. Like, there's a few guys at the top, and then there's a few guys in the mid, in the top, like, you know, a bit under the top, top 100, top 200, and after that, it's just like, it's just pennies, bro. Like, it's it's literally, they, they, they're all shit munchers, they're all, like, eating nothing. You see, you see that odd streamer earning like, fucking 10 views, it's not odd streamer, like, it's fucking the majority of them, bro. It's, um, what's that success fallacy? I don't know what remember, remember it is, but it's much more realistic. I don't know, less realistic. It, it's all technically realistic. It's much more probable in real life, in the virtual world. The glasses touch my eyes. <sighs> um, I used to see this, like, Genshin Impact Whale videos and a Genshin Impact Whale if you don't know is a person who's a fucking complete geek Who like makes Genshin Impact YouTube videos or something makes money from the Genshin Impact YouTube videos and then reinvests Reinvests the money back into gambling into Genshin Impact because Genshin Impact is just a glorified gambling Machine it's gacha. They, they call it gacha. I call it gambling. It is no it's not it's not better than Aiden Ross like gambling away fake money or xqc gambling away fake money in order to promote a gambling website it is completely and utterly no different i don't really care i don't know what to say like maybe, maybe i'm ruthless and maybe i'm heartless perhaps i'm cold but i don't really care if you want to waste your entire life playing engineering back that's your problem like fuck it bro well what's more important to me is like my fucking Trash ass haircut. My hair is greasy though, so like, can't blame me. No, my eyes are when I did, when I did like this, my eyes look small, man. You know what So you know I'm tired, man. Maybe we're gonna upload this video like this. No, I'm gonna have to crop this out. Nah, I'm gonna keep it like this. No one watches my videos anyway, not yet. What if people do watch my videos? Fuck, that's not good. See, play my hand, fucking flex my bicep for the, for the last 10 minutes, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna call a lot of self improvement guys on their bullshit here. You know, what is self improvement mid game? What is self improvement late game? What is self improvement end game? 
you know, Hams is pretty much self improvement like early game. Like you know, you fucking you fucking meditate, gratitude journal, read, exercise, no fat, the rest, the rest of the now goals, tasks, studying. Yeah, we know. And after, what's going on? Do you go on holiday? Do you you know become a no a tech nomad nomad geek with your laptop going everywhere? Maybe with your fucking girlfriend or some shit. I was gonna say five girlfriend. That's kind of rude to say. Maybe you have a really cute girlfriend. Maybe. I don't, know, I don't care. Like, what, 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 what is the journey? What is the timeline? And I think the weird answer is the timeline is just the one you make for yourself. You could spend your entire life working. This is fine. You could spend your entire life working and then you retire. This is fine. You could be a dosser your entire life. This is fine. You could follow the system. Your entire life. This is fine. There's guys. It's a, Hamza says there's guys self improvement in university. You know, not doing self improvement activities. These individuals are not on self improvement. I know a guy who was on self improvement. He was fucking serious about it. He was going like, running and shit. You know, weight training, gym, and all the time. You know, like, it, was, it was like his biggest concern at the time. And then, come university, he's living a dos life. He progresses. He's not on self improvement. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Like, action equals result, guys. I don't know. I don't know if that's weird to say, but if you if you train really hard at skipping rope, by the time you're done after like five years, half a decade of skipping rope, you'll be a fucking skipping rope god. Perhaps not the best, but you'll be very fucking good. Same is effectively applicable in all aspects, minus sports. Like boxing or something. You gotta do more five years than that. Come a truly great. But you can be a very accomplished amateur and you know, going into your pro your pro career, setting yourself up for a pro good pro career. But uh I don't know, I need to stop saying uh but you guys have to realise that self at the end of the day is just your prerogative. And understanding that having an action that equals a result is even bigger than that. For example, you want an apartment in Los Angeles, same apartment, like apartment penthouse in Los Angeles. You want an apartment penthouse in central London, like I do. There's, a, there's an apartment, E17, I know, I don't know, it was East, East London, but um, it's very close to central. It's basically fucking central, central no. but like it's like a skyscraper apartment. The apartment is penthouse, it's worth like two million, three million pounds. I want it. Okay, how can I then generate three million pounds, four million pounds in order to buy the house? So like that that's my self improvement in game factory. I get real estate and I move around place to place and I have that lifestyle. That's my self improvement end game. And perhaps I won't enjoy it. Perhaps I won't enjoy it. Perhaps I'll sit in my three million pound apartment for, with the fucking view of the entire city in the back with like a new office and say, hmm. I spent the last 15 years doing this. No, that's just a bit of a stretch. I spent the last 8 years doing this. I was 18. Now I'm 25, 26. Mm, I got everything I wanted. I'm in better shape than ever before. I got more money than you could, ask, you could ever ask for. Got the apartment. Got a nice car in the private parking below. Lamborghini. Mm, it, it wasn't really that hype and I'm still working. Perhaps that will, perhaps that will be the case. Honestly, the perhaps that will be the case. But then, but then, that's my problem. That's my end game. What, what, what is some from a mid game? Like, I don't think, that, I don't think there is one. You kind of just work, 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 work. You get what you want, and then you're like, okay, and then you keep working. Yeah. That's usually what happens. Something weird. I would think about. Well, then you go like Elon. We have such high ambitions. You work probably until the day you die. Well, my finger's so stubby. Look at that. My finger. My I am not finger photogenic. My fingers are stubby, bro. Maybe if I stretch them like this every single day, that means probably won't work. I should not good. I just stretch my fingers every single day. It gets longer. 
my fingers are fucking, my nails are dirty, my fingers are stubby, and I got two fucking cuts with my cat. I have some hideous hands. Catch guys next video, peace. I really don't know what else to say.